All right, well, welcome back. Unless this is your first time here, and then welcome. <laughs> and it wouldn't be welcome back because it would be your, uh, your first time. Uh, I don't know if you, if you hear in the background, listen real, real quick before we get started. I decided to play some music today because I'm in such a good mood. Uh, after this video, after I teach you how to find X and Y intercepts, I promise you I will teach you how to shuffle. But first we gotta learn how to find some X and Y intercepts, so let's get it! Let's do it! Uh, part of me doesn't want these videos to be too conceptual. I kind of want, you know, that's for you a teacher. I, I just want to show you how to do the problem and I'll let your beautiful teacher be more conceptual like I try to be more conceptual in my classes. And by the way, that phone I know is about to die, so if this video just stops, I'm just going to post it anyway, because I mean, I just feel good about the way this video is going to go. I don't know why. All right, we got to find the X and Y intercepts. The Y intercept is where the graph intercepts the Y axis. That's why they call it the Y intercept, because it's where it intercepts the Y axis. If you look at any graph and you draw any line, where it intercepts the y-axis is always when x is equal to zero. So the y-intercept is right here. I'll put it in the table because I like tables. It's right here. It's saying, yo, when x is zero, what's y? That's the y-intercept. The x-intercept is where the graph intercepts the x-axis. That's why they call it an x-intercept. And look at where does it cross the x-axis? You could draw any line you want. It always crosses when y equals zero. So holla, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to find the value of y when x is zero and the value of x when y is zero. All right, so just plug it in. That's the power of, of, of math. You wanna know what it is? Just, just, there's x, it's zero, there's x. Make it zero, figure out what y is gonna be. Let's get it, let's get it. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna erase this. I uh, love the graph there. A little soccer move for you. All right, so I'm gonna substitute. Here we go, here we go. I got two times zero plus four y is equal to six. See ya. Two times zero is zero. See ya. So now I got four y is equal to six. I'm gonna divide by four. Y is equal to 6 over 4, which is 3 over 2. Right here. That's your y-intercept. That's your y-intercept. Boom. You want in a coordinate point? Sure. Take it. That's your y-intercept. Let's go get our x-intercept. Need a new, uh, new equation down here. I'm going to go 2x plus 4 times 0 is equal to 6. I'm just making y zero. That's all I'm doing. All right, and, and, and yo, see ya. What's four times zero? What's four times zero? Of course it is. Of course it's zero. Now, if music doesn't put you in a good mood, I don't know what will. That's not a question for me, I am a math teacher. Assuming you're learning, I'm a math teacher. If you're not learning, then I'm just talking about math. All right, so uh, here we go, boom, and we got x equals three. There we, that's it. You want it as a coordinate point, go get it. Y intercept, x intercept. But let's start to think, because I hopefully have got time on that machine, I'm hoping Really, I'm going to solve this for y. I'm going to solve this thing for y right here. I'm going to take x, and I'm going to go boom. We're going to get a little more conceptual on you now. I want you to maybe we'll try to understand this a little better. I'm going to get rid of that, and this is going to give me 4y is equal to negative 2x plus 6. You see how I did that? I went from here to here. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to divide by 4. Boom, divide by four, divide by four, divide by four. And then here we got y, oh, barely hold it here. Uh, y is equal to negative one half x plus three over two. This is a function, people. Look at this. 
This is just like y equals mx plus b money. Money. Here's your slope negative one half. Your y-intercept is three over two, but but it's a function. So so a function uh, here. Can you, I think you can see this part here. I'll go here. A function's like this. It's it's like a machine. So I'm gonna draw you a machine. I'm really uh really good at these function machines. I like these function machines. I'm gonna turn this down for a second. I'm so I'm so into it. Now nah, leave it. But, but try to listen to me. Oh, hell, just listen to the music. I really don't care. Just have fun. All right. So this says negative 1 half x plus, I'll make that a little bit clear, plus 3 over 2. So it's a function machine, and that, that's how functions can be modeled. They have inputs, and they have outputs. You put in an x, and it outputs a y. You see, I, I was an electromechanical engineer for a while, so this analogy makes sense to me. If it doesn't for you, give me a, a couple more, give me another minute and it will. I promise you it's going to help. Uh, so you put in an x and you get a y. That's a function. And so what the x-intercept's really saying, it's like, yo, when I put in a zero, what's going to be on the output of the function machine? That's really what it's saying. When I input a zero, what's going to happen? Now, the, the y-intercept is slightly different, and this is the kind, this is kind of beautiful difference here. The y-intercept saying, yo, I want the output to be zero. What do I put into my function to make a zero? Well, we know it's three. We know it's three, and you don't believe me? You say, Mr. Miller, I don't believe you. I saw your last video, and it was wrong. I hope it wasn't wrong. I, I just made that up. I, I don't think it was wrong. I mean. I don't know, I'm not perfect, but, so let's see, let's see, this is our function, let's literally put in a 3 and see if the output goes to 0, it should be fun. Uh, let me, uh, let me erase here, so I, there we go, do a little soccer move for you, or football, depending where you're watching this. Alright, so we're going to go y, and I'm going to make x equal to 3, okay, and my slope's still negative 1 half plus 3 over 2. Negative 1 half times 3 gives me negative 3 over 2 plus 3 over 2. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's so, so, so what we've learned, and now I'm going to kind of go back over this, is that for x and y intercepts, just substitute. You want the y intercept, just make x 0 and solve for y. You want no, you want the y-intercept, make x0, solve for y. You want the x-intercept, which is this one. This is the, the x-intercept. Just set y equal to 0 and solve for x. Because y equals to 0 is where the graph intercepts the x-axis. Okay? And all along, you can make a table. You know, you can do 0, question mark, question mark, 0, and solve it. And no, fundamentally no, that what's happening is that the x-intercept is asking the question of when you input an x into your function, what's, when you input x equals to 0 in your function, what's y going to be? And fundamentally, the, what the, what the uh, x-intercept is saying is what value of x makes the function 0. Those are two very, very important points. And hey, I'm going to hit you one last thing and then, then I'm... Then I'm gonna go and I picked this problem kind of at, at random. I mean, I got these fractions. Maybe we'll do another one. But hey, look at that. You see, you want to find that y-intercept? Look, look, look. It's right there. It's always been there. It's b. This y-intercept is b. And if you take this equation and solve it for y, like we did here, you get it. It's right there. But we knew that. We knew that because back in the day before I erased it, maybe you can hit rewind, but the very first thing I did in this video is I said, yo, what the, what's going to happen when x equals 0? And I just made it equal to 0 because that's, that's the playfulness of math. You can do that. And I was like, oh, well, that goes away. See ya. Peace out. Have a nice life. Divide everything by 4. This is just... 
this is just one story. I mean, it's, it's one story. That the whole algebra book you're looking at, it's one story. It's not, it's not individual chapters. Okay, well, that's long enough. Um, I, hope you're, I hope you're having a beautiful day. You see the music stops, and now it's like, oh, man. Maybe I was going to teach you how to shuffle, but there's no music. So maybe I'll, I'll teach you how to shuffle in the next video. Uh, again, it's always my pleasure to uh, try to help you out, and I will hopefully do better next time. Uh, all right. Oh, oh. Uh, here's all my markers. If you notice, they, they almost all have a, a black cap, and I have no idea how that happened, but that's a side point. See ya.